so that I take them in the same breath. Uh, Honourable Speaker, you have been more than uh, clear on the expectation of uh, the chairman of the committees. Uh, pass one to the passing of a motion in this house on the state of the nation. However, Honourable Speaker, my reading of uh, uh, Standing Order 255, sub Article 2, it enjoins not only the committees, because if you look at the motion, there were things that the committees were supposed to do and things that uh, government was supposed to do, independent commissions were supposed to do, and even holders of independent offices. And by way of example, Honorable Speaker, the very first resolution there is that we needed an apology from the National Police Service for all the deaths from peaceful protests. So there is a, a, an expectation that the National Police Service also needed to respond to us. There is a question of compensation, and the wording of the motion is compensation from the national government for victims of police brutality. Then, of course, there was the question of amnesty uh, for prosecutions, which was also an expectation of the National Police Service, and a withdrawal of the cases from the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. In fact, our standing orders enjoy even those independent offices uh, to be able to implement the resolutions of this uh, uh, house. I was in Kisumu over the weekend, and one of those young people uh, was telling me that they are still facing uh, cases in court. Honorable Speaker, it is also not lost on us that there continue to be complaints of abductions by unknown people suspected to be security officers across the country. Even as we speak, there is a famous case of a lady called Maverick o Ouko, Ouma, Aoko, yes, Maverick Aoko, who has been missing for a few days. So, Honorable Speaker, I would also want us as a Senate to ask those independent officers the responsible or relevant cabinet secretary in line with uh, standing order 255 2 uh, so that they also uh, brief this house on how far we have gone in terms of implementations of the resolutions of this house i have personally taken time to explain to my, especially my uh, 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 leader of majority the leader of majority of this house who's, who's now my friend uh, honorable speaker that for us for us in the opposition for us in the opposition, Honorable Speaker, if these uh, resolutions are actually uh, implemented, we will have an easier time even uh, having tea with the majority leader. And he knows this. He, he was, uh, Honorable Speaker, I'm being told the majority leader was distracted. I, I have taken time, Honorable Speaker, because you know, we are in a period of people trying to understand what makes uh, some of us tick, the members of the opposition, members of government, I have explained to the majority leader that for us in the opposition, and especially for ODM, for which I'm the Secretary General, if these issues that we passed here on apologies and compensation for victims and uh, an end to abductions uh, of people in this country are actually implemented, he will have an easier time calling me for coffee to discuss other things, Honorable Speaker. And therefore, I would plead with you, Honorable Speaker, just like you have directed our committees to respond, all these independent offices and government itself must also tell us why it has taken this long, 60 days later, and we don't see any movement in terms of implementation of these resolutions. I thank you, Honorable Speaker. Senator Ombo. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on the matter of um, uh, social media clips,